Hello everybody, welcome to Rainier Books. My name is Rainer, this is my booktube channel where I speak about books and awards and stuff like that. And today I want to give you a single review of a novel called Small Mercies by Dennis Lehane. But let me start first talking a little bit about the author Dennis Lehane. He was born 1965 in Boston, Massachusetts, spent I think most of his time in the Boston area, but then moved a few years back, he moved to Southern California with his wife and his two kids. He studied creative writing, not in Massachusetts, but at Florida International University in Miami. And in 1994, his debut came. His debut novel was called A Drink Before the War. And he introduced two characters, a private eye duo, Angie Gennaro and Patrick Kenzie. In this novel, Kenzie and Gennaro are trying to find the whereabouts of a black cleaning lady who has allegedly stolen state documents. 29-year-old Dennis Lehane had laid the foundation with this novel for his career by creating unforgettable characters, by painting a vibrant picture of Boston and its blue-collar neighborhoods and ghettos, and also by building a strong plot, a feverish atmosphere, and a lot of suspense. Lehane wrote five more novels about Kenzie and Gennaro. I've read them all. And the most brilliant and most famous one of them is probably Gone Baby Gone that came out in 1998 about a six-year-old girl gone missing. This novel also became a major motion picture directed by Ben Affleck and starring Casey Affleck, Morgan Freeman and Ed Harris. Some crime writers produce only series and are very successful with that because their audience loves to return to the characters and places. But Lehane has a huge number of standalones. Some of them became huge movies as well, as Gone Baby Gone, but that was not a standalone, but then Mystic River, directed by Clint Eastwood and starring Sean Penn. Shutter Island was directed by Martin Scorsese and starred Leonardo DiCaprio. And The Wire, also one of the most famous television shows of all time, an HBO series for The Wire, Dennis Lehane wrote a couple of episodes. The connection between Lehane and the screen is a long one, as you can see. In Shutter Island, Lehane wrote about a prison in 1954. The author has always been very interested in returning and sort of exploring the past and historical events that happened there and put some of his plots, some of his stories in that past in connection to those um, historical events. The first novel of his Denny Cowlin trilogy, the Given Day, 2008, is set in Boston and Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1918, three years before the infamous Tulsa riots where white supremacists burned down a 35-block area where Afro-American people had built an economically successful community. In his now 15th novel, Small Mercies, the scene is, once again, Boston in general and Southie, the, the era where all most of the Irish people lived in particular. And again, we go back in time to 1974. And again, we go to a pivotal moment in US history, or at least in the history of the city of Boston. The beginning of the Boston desegregation busing crisis that emerged after the city council had decided to mix black and white kids in schools. And in order to do that, sent them in buses from, for example, Southie to Roxbury and vice versa. The protagonist of the new novel, Small Mercies, that was published in April 2023, is Mary Pat Fennessy. She has lived all her life in Saudi. She lives in a housing project. Her husband is dead, or yet I think she had two men in her life. One was killed, the other one is sort of left her. And one night, her daughter, Jules, goes missing, and also the body of a young black man is found and discovered. Soon we learn that both incidents are somehow connected and Mary Pat is determined to fight her daughter. The trace leads right into the criminal underworld of Saudi and directly to gang boss or mob boss, whatever you want, Marty Butler, who wants to send Mary Pat away to Florida with a lot of money. Why does he do that? Why does he doesn't want her to look for her daughter? But Mary Pat is determined to find Jules and she stays and nothing can stop her. All this happens in a loaded racist atmosphere. Lehane shows the tremendous racism that is rooted in the Irish community in the 1970s and that does not exclude his protagonist, Mary Pat. 
In this character, Lahain has created a modern version of the Greek goddess Nemesis, who personified retribution, a strong female character and the strongest and most colorful we have seen yet, I think, in his writing. The plot, the atmosphere and the writing is classical Lee Hain. Three months before the release of the book, the author signed already a deal to make a TV show for Apple Plus out of this novel. This is exciting, this is very, it's a thriller with a great plot, this is typical Lahaine, and it ends, well, to, for my eyes and my thriller reading eyes, it, it ends somehow predictable, but it's a great novel nevertheless, and I can't wait to see it actually as a TV series, because this is going to have a lot of um, the atmosphere and the characters, and it, 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 it's a possibility for a TV author to, to sort of create a whole world of the 1974 of Boston, and I'm very curious to see that. But read the novel first, and you won't be disappointed. Thank you very much for watching this single review. I see you soon in another one, and until then, I say bye, dos vidani, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, hey da, and au revoir.